let's get to Dee Dee Westbrook, who kind of just emerged on the scene in the last couple of weeks here. He returned in week 11. Since then, he's had 33 targets with 20 receptions. He's had eight plus targets and five or more snags in the last three games with 50 yards or more, topping out at 81 this week versus Seattle with his first professional touchdown. Balling. Dude, <laughs> Dude has looked really good. He's kind of picked up right where he left off in the preseason. He was looking outrageous in the preseason, just making all sorts of grabs all over the place. He led the preseason in receiving yards. Maybe. Yeah, mm -hmm. he, he played extremely well. But what I really like is how they're using him. You mentioned when we were talking about Lee and, and the crossing routes and all this. Um, you know, Westbrook, they're, you know, they'll use him to attack vertically, um, which is kind of what people equate Didi to. Um, but... They're using him in a lot of that kind of drag across the formation, the crossing routes kind of deal, um, which is one of my favorite routes because if you know how to work the field, you can constantly be open. Sure. And they're running it, you know, in front of the linebacker, and then they're running behind the linebacker. There's just there's a lot of things you can do with it. You don't doesn't need to be that fancy. And then after they do that and complete some passes, they turn that then into the whip, which is you know if you don't know, you're running that drag and then you're planting that hard foot and going back out towards the sideline which is just a whole other wrinkle in there. And, you know, I've seen, I saw DD do it multiple times now in games after these drags mm -hmm. and, you know, just building on that little bit of a route tree there. And I think that's just awesome. It gives him, you know, more opportunities to run after the catch. And, I, you know, it's just not, oh, it's just DD. Let's throw it deep to him, you know, kind of like you saw in college because he was faster than everybody else. Um, you're just seeing him kind of develop as an actual receiver here. And I, yeah. you, I've, I don't think I've seen any plays where he, the ball's gotten anywhere near this guy's body. It's hand catches everywhere. And he, he always comes down with the ball. I, I'm just really enjoying the way that the Jaguars are using him. He's a really tough guy to keep up when you're running sideline to sideline. Cause obviously, you know, you had that vertical game, but you put him across the field and then you're just not going to keep up with him, especially if you're in a zone and there's a linebacker who has to cover him through that zone. Yeah. No way. Right. Well, he's playing like a big receiver, like down the field, the vertical game. He plays like a big dude, and, and he's catching the ball awesome. But like you said, like it's a, it's fun to watch the way they're using him because they're throwing him tons of targets. They're getting him involved like early in the game. Yeah. Every other play, he's being sent in motion. So like that just puts such stress, stress, stress on the defense. You got Fournette there. They're about ready. You know, they're probably about to hand it to Fournette. But you see DD crossing, and your eyes have got to look at him for a second. Right. And so it's just, it's just. I've been really impressed with the play calling and yeah. the way they've gotten him involved. Like yeah. they made a, an assertive effort to get this dude involved, and I think that's something to really take note of. Sure, you'll, they'll they'll, they'll hit it, hook him up with some screens here and there. That the his his curl or it, route is is been really effective. Uh, he's just again the hands catching mm -hmm. is what I just love to see from him that that ball never really gets on his body and he's just got just plucks that thing and for a smaller dude you know I I, I like to see that and then you couple that with Marquise Lee who's been a you know a really tough cover for a lot of guys and he's getting you know Didi's not getting your best guy and good luck right yeah yeah so I, I I'm really I got a fever for some Didi right now <laughs> and the only cure it's more day day. Yeah, and I, <laughs> I got no problem giving up a second rounder all day long for Westbrook right now. Like I, I think this guy could be really solid. Like you mentioned before, I, I believe he was like the Heisman runner up. He got you know a little bit of trouble in college, but you know he's got some baby mama drama. Yeah, but that seems to have been tabled. Tom Coughlin doesn't put up with that. Yeah, and now they're just force feeding the ball almost. So. What right, do, and then we talked about Allen Robinson and and Lee and Hearns and all those guys. There's a possibility that none of those mm -hmm. guys could be back next year, which even which sparks my interest even more. And then he's a rookie, and he just got on the field. He missed the first with six, a core eight weeks. injury, which is not a sol not like that's a tough injury to come back from. Right. Like healthy, he, like without time plays, to rest. The uh, college production translating right onto an NFL field, Impressive. and you know, go ask Mr. John Ross how that's working out for him. Healthy and scratch. Yeah, it's, it doesn't. Well, apparently, he's been hiding injuries. Doesn't team, happen for so. every rookie wide receiver that's good in college. They don't just no. walk in and be and, and make plays. So immediately, no. And, and Didi's, for, Didi's stock no. up Didi. The the adjust like what Didi was doing in the spread offense that they were running. What wasn't too much like what they were doing in in Jacksonville. I don't believe you know with with the like shorter concepts of things going on. Uh, so I think I think that's he's been really impressive to me. And obviously, we talked. Uh, about Alex Collins and Drake in a previous episode. 
of with flash in the pans. And this is, a, you know, a little bit of a definition of flash in the pan. But like Jay Wayne said, I like that they're getting in the ball, like they're mm-hmm. force feeding him. And he's, and he's doing well with what they're, you know, putting on his plate. So I, I, I think that's awesome. Stock up, Dee Dee. 